How's it going, you guys? It is Mr. Gaming Squatch here. Today we have a little bit of an informative video for you guys. As you can probably tell from the title, that we are going to be trying to fix this Game Boy here that I have finally received from a friend on Facebook that I'm in a group of Game Boy collectors I had bought off of. And with the intent of fixing this to be able to make a video for you guys so that others may know how to fix this if they can. And it plays perfectly fine, it has great sound, except for those vertical lines, those dead lines. And as you can see, it reads the game, it plays perfectly, you know, the sound's okay. But, as you can see, those lines are not very good. So, what we are going to do is we're going to try and fix that. And you will need a soldering iron for this, as you can see I have mine going I have it set to about 300 we're gonna wait for it to heat up a little bit more but the main thing is gonna be we're trying to sort of reheat and reactivate the pixels right on this little ribbon cable here now the main important thing is gonna be not to ever just hold it there you do not want to hold the iron on the ribbon cable for more than at least a split second Otherwise, you will risk burning it, and you will never fix it at all again. It will never come back again. Now, first things first is you're going to need to take off this little rubber piece here, which it could be on there pretty, pretty well. You're going to need to take that off. And if you can, try and scrape off as much as that of that glue as you possibly can otherwise you're pretty much just gonna kind of burn that on there and you don't want to do that so we're gonna try and get that as we're waiting for the soldering iron to heat up otherwise we will end up probably burning this to the ribbon cable and you don't want to do that but you also have to be very careful not to tear the ribbon cable with your tweezers as well if you happen to have tweezers or whatever you're going to be trying to pull this off with now this process can help you know it'll probably take a little bit of time that's the biggest thing here is definitely time you know you just have to be very patient with it but it is guaranteed to work because I actually did this with a DMG Game Boy that my friend the King of Games 98 had sold to me as well and that had vertical lines as well and I was able to look up the video on how to fix that and it worked pretty well actually I was actually really surprised with myself in being able to fix it up considering that a lot of times I'm not very delicate with small things and so we're almost done here and the soldering iron is getting quite hot I can smell it like I said you just want to be careful with this because you don't want to scratch it up then you'll never get anything fixed all right, let's just make sure we didn't damage anything out of complete the... All right, now you see how some of the lines are kind of coming back, some of them are not. It's definitely not very good. So, now, as the iron is just about ready, we're going to keep the Game Boy on, and we're going to keep... It's easier to try and keep track of the deadlines when they have it down to the lowest contrast and all you're gonna really do is just very carefully sort of just keep rubbing the soldering iron on the ribbon cable right in this area here and as you can see the lines will start to sort of reappear ah it's very important not to touch the metal course you just have to be very careful and very patient like I 
like I said, this can be a very time-consuming process. I am really going to feel that tomorrow, that's for sure. It may not seem like you're going to be doing much, but you are, in fact, doing a lot. Now, of course, in a case like this, it is pretty severe, so you just have to have a little bit of patience. Sort of check your progress with changing it back and forth. I would do a time lapse of this, but I am not that much of a professional YouTuber, unfortunately. Now, it is a little bit tedious, but it does kind of work. Just have to be very careful. Because like I said, you don't want to ruin the ribbon cables. Don't want to burn it completely. You could always turn it off and turn it back on again to see if there's any progress. Just always got to be careful with this. It is very, a little bit time consuming. I apologize if this is going to be a long video, but it will be. Just have to be very patient and very careful with it. feel free to skip to the end of this video if you feel the need to. Just gotta be careful with it is all. Because I tried doing this before with say a, um, a hair dryer and a needle. Pretty much making my own kind of soldering iron but that didn't exactly work as well as this did. Like I said, just gotta be careful with it.
try and zoom in a little bit for you guys so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Even though you were probably seeing it pretty fine for the beginning of the video. Just, all you're doing is just sort of, like I said, almost like you're, almost like you're scribbling, kind of. Just back and forth, back and forth with your soldering iron. The heat will try and reactivate the pixels. Like I said, this does take some time. Just have to be very careful. As you can probably tell, we've made a little bit of progress so far. As the ice cream man, ice cream man drives by to torture me once again. I gotta say, it's definitely looking better than what it was before, that's for sure.
I wish I had some music for you guys, I'm sorry, but YouTube is way too strict with their copyrights. So, all you have to enjoy is the sound of my air conditioner, unfortunately. So far it's still getting better, but I think I'm going to try and end the video here. Uh, I will do a part two video of how to take apart the said Game Boy and to show the final product of this. And I appreciate you guys for sticking with me for as long as it's been, and I hope you guys stay safe, stay happy, and Game on, you guys. Game on.